made on here. Okay, so today I'm working on my bathroom heater fans. Uh, here's the newer one, and the uh, uh, the uh, heating elements are fine, but it won't come on. And uh, I don't know how well we can see this. That is a thermal fuse. Thermal coupler, sometimes they're called, things like this. Well, to a certain extent. I'm not, there's several different names that come by and I've already forgotten all the ones I saw, but this is the one that was in there. It, uh, turn it over so I can see it. Okay, uh, now I took this off, the, uh, if you happen to know so a minute ago. I took it off so that I, I was trying to get the squirrel cage out. Fan, caught it. Oh, well, it's called those the squirrel cage. But the thermal coupler, this is where it was right here. Thermal fuse. Thermal link. That's the other name I've seen them on, looking them up online. The cheapest I found one of these was like about $9 with free shipping. And what they do is they're a fuse that once it's burned out, they're, they're gone. And if this thing overheats, they blow and uh, keep you from burning your house down. So, you know, they're a good thing. But they do have them, like from, I know in clothes dryers and different things, they have different ones that, of course, they look different than ones for clothes dryers, but they have some that will auto-reset. They have them in, well, like, you know, your space heaters and stuff. Uh, here's the old one that I had taken out. What I had done, here's, let me show this. This is the box, the brand new box. I just, it, I had, a couple of years ago now, I had bought... The whole thing again, it costs 63 bucks. I've been looking at it all. This is the exhaust fan, the old exhaust fan. It's a little, it, it just snaps out. I'm not gonna take it out now because it does work, but it was making a lot of noise. I, it's been up here in the garage, you know, in the garage in the, in the box where the new one came in there for, you know, a couple of years now. These are the covers. That's the old cover. That's the new cover. That's for the, uh, goes on here. That's how it belongs when it's put together, something like that. I have stuff here, my backsplash I've been, I put gel coat on, it's ready to be put in, I haven't put it in yet. This is the old, dirty, you know, plastic fixture cover. That's the new vent that I didn't use because the, uh, uh, what I did was, you know, it was too hard to take that box out and replace it. So I just left the old box up in the ceiling and put the new parts in there because they fit perfectly. They're the same brand, same model. That's the light. That's the old light. No, that's the new one up there. No, new one's up there in the house. Everything's inside the house except for this heater. So, turns out that... Uh, Let's go back to this one. Turns out, yeah, the thermocoupler is bad. I did, you know, I did, uh, I figured that out yesterday without even, you could tell it without even taking it apart with my, with my, uh, multimeter. I did a con, con, continuity test and there was no conduction, you know, in between those points. So I thought, well, that's bad, I believe. So, uh, this one, what I had taken, tried to figure out what was wrong with it and fix it. And I had tried to get the motor out. You can see it is loose in there. I reached in there and worked around and worked around and got these, uh, if I can get enough light on it, got these, uh, got it, got the motor loose there, but uh, I don't really remember now, but I probably couldn't get, there's a set screw in there. There was a lot more light earlier here in this spot. So I thought this would be the perfect spot. There's some light, a little bit. But anyway, down in there, there is a uh, Allen head. It's not on the, t where you can see here. It's anyway, uh, it's always hard when you're doing a, one hand with the phone, and the other hand to try to do stuff to do a video. But, uh, make some light on this subject here. I do have a light over here. It probably won't make enough light to make any difference. Especially if it won't turn the way you want it to. 
Now, I don't know if that made any... Yeah, you can kind of see... I think it actually helped a little bit. You can kind of see the, uh, the adults, but... Uh, well, there, I can see it. I don't know if it'll... Yeah, I think maybe you can kind of see that. The problem is, is that... Flip this over the way. That's the way I had. That's why I had this off, so I could get to that without break. I didn't want to break those. Get it turned just right. Keep forgetting where to put the camera. There it is. Now uh, that's the Allen, Allen head bolt and uh, I tried already earlier to get it off I'd already squared it with rust buster I didn't even try this one today I may try it in a little bit because this motor I figured out it had the same problem I've got the thermal fuse out of it too uh, it's got a little bit different looking one. Well, this is be the older model but it goes right in there it uh, I thought, well, you know, if I can get good parts out of one and put make a good one, one good one. But uh, uh, this motor does try to run, but it just sits there humming. It won't, it won't start spin up. And I thought, well, maybe if I took it apart and cleaned it up, I might get it running. And this one here, I, I tried to take off first because I thought, well, it should be the easiest one. It's the newest one to get to get apart. It was, it was. <laughs> rusted pretty good the thing is all that moisture in the bathroom you know it just makes everything rust you can see that how that I mean, if you've ever had one of opened up you see how rusty they get this one lasted uh, at least 15 years this one is uh, lasted a little over a year i think the warranty is only a year last year's when it quit I bought it in 2014 march of 2014 it quit last year sometime and we didn't I didn't feel good and I didn't feel like messing with it, so we just got a space heater and plugged it in in there. And then this year, we're still doing the same. My mother is already doing the same thing. And I thought, well, I need, you know, I started feeling a little better, so I decided to try to fix it. But uh, <coughs> the parts are so darn expensive. I'm going to go around here to my workbench. The parts are so darn expensive that uh, you might as well and that's what I, I remember last time that's kind of what I thought I remembered get my little multimeter set here put it on uh, where it'll beep when you've got continuity okay it's kind of a crappy beeper but I don't think I can do it it's the only thing but uh, yeah, I don't think I can. I was <laughs> all I was gonna do is show no beep. <laughs> these points they're very short on this thing, and uh, but both of these are like that. Nothing. Of course, you're not getting a very good connection that way, but. Um, for instance, if I test this Allen, I don't think I can do that either. I was not planning on making such a horrible video. I thought about putting the thing in my little tripod, but it kind of takes ten, five minutes to get it in there because it's a. I made a tripod out of a cassette holder in my. I have a little small tripod, but anyway, you know what a con, kind of continuity tester does. And I like the beep because then you don't have to be looking at the screen or anything. But. Uh, so, and here's the other, the other one. They're a little bit different, and it seems like this one's numbers are real hard to read. This is the older one. There, um, I was trying to, I thought I might look them up and see if I could find the specs on these, and then get a one that auto resets. But like I said, they're about basically going to say ten dollars, nine dollars, and a good, good amount of change. Uh, and the rest, of, and this was one site said that much with, with free shipping. The rest was, well, anywhere from five bucks to jet going over. 
uh, anywhere from five bucks to uh, five six dollars to you know ten dollars with six or eight bu bucks shipping. I found one site that was nine dollars free shipping. Not the one that was five dollars said it says anything that'll fit in an envelope is free shipping. Don't worry if it, <laughs> it says don't worry if you see shipping on there. I will take that off if it fits in an envelope. <laughs> Depends on what you want to do if it'll fit. fit in the envelope, but are you going to ship it that way? And do I want you to? Because if you put it, it said regular envelope. You put that in a regular envelope, it might get broke. So, um, I said it had pretty good little packing, you know. If it's too thick, then the post office wouldn't, there's, evidently they were going to use the post office, they wouldn't send it. So, I got a feeling I'd get charged shipping, pay more on for that one. Uh, but if I could get one that auto resets, that'd be good. But that's only if you got a good fan. The fans, uh, let's see, well, I found some for twenty-one dollars, but they were, uh, I believe, those were only the ones that were for, yeah. The fans that were twenty-one dollars were just the exhaust fans. So the ones that work with the heater, well, with the squirrel cage included, there they were uh, forty dollars. So. I can't remember now. I've been sitting there reading for the last couple of hours. Went in and ate lunch and read. Um, let me go back over here. <coughs> they, um, the whole thing costs more than $63 for this whole thing. Fan light heater. Uh, at Amazon and at Home Depot. Now, this here, anywhere from $68 to $80 everywhere I look. Just this this thing right here, which is what you be the best way to do it. You know, you get your thermal, uh, I always want to call it a thermocoupler, your thermal fuse, and your, uh, your fan, get it all together in a unit, and you just pop it in, one screw, and you're done, or two screws, and you're done. But it costs too much. So you might as well buy all this. Actually, uh, it, looking at it through the phone actually brightens it up a little bit. I can set that down now. Oh, let's do it. No, that's upside down. I absolutely can't tell. Okay, here we go. Re oh, it must be stamped on the other side or something. That's what it is. Looking at it mirrored. There we go. That was weird. Okay, now it goes like this. Probably can't see it now. But it says brown wire, and I guess it'll say red wire because that's what's on there. Yeah, okay, brown wire, red wire. <laughs> that's funny. It's got a mirror image because it was stamped on there. So, I hate that it has all the, you know, everything's good about these except for. And why in the heck would the, a fan motor like this, this type of design, used to last a good 30 years, easy. Now, they don't last a year, over a year. Which, well that's how it goes. I'm looking at the other one to see, see which way it would go. My wiring. Oh, huh. I guess it doesn't matter just as long as it, that's the way this one was. The wires won't reach the other way, but uh, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. Everything's the same, the slant there, but there, but the motors point the other way. But anyway, those those motors, I mean, yeah, there there's a lot of moisture on them and stuff, but but these kind of exhaust and heater fans used to used to last at least 15 years, 30 years wasn't uncommon. And this brand did. <coughs> like I said, the first one, the one, the box is still up in there. It did last, I'm pretty sure about 15 years. And uh, so I'm gonna have to. Um, ow! Back into my truck. Gonna have to figure out what to do. I kind of I hate to spend another 63, 60, about 64 dollars. I think it's free shipping, and I don't think there's any tax. But to me, but uh, 
spend that and then if it lasts a year that just pisses me off um, but of course I'm not going to spend more and I started thinking well maybe I can uh, get a different brand that would fit that box but that was didn't look like there was going to be any of that size I'm getting cold out here it's turned cold today wind's blowing it's supposed to be 38 tonight and it's been in the 80s I've been up to 90 all last couple of three weeks so um, there's our old rusty screws and stuff yeah that Allen wrench there wasn't going to do it at all but I have a, I have this which I found the right size and then you can actually I'll show you I had it like that and that gives you that much leverage and it couldn't break it loose so uh, that's how tight that not talking about the Allen head on the squirrel cage now but anyway uh, I either buy a whole new one I don't believe I'll find I think I already did that last time tried to find it well besides finding another another brand that might have you know last longer uh, the ones that show up as the best reviews Panasonic brand are $133 for ones uh, just not uh, it's not the same size but it has the same you know light uh, exhaust and uh, and then you've got to problem is you know if you replace the box and it's a different size then you've got to uh, there these are generally uh, smaller in one direction or the other so these other brands so you got to um, patch sheetrock and all that now I'm not getting into that so you're kind of stuck it's good that all the parts are available, but not good that they're crazy high prices. So, um, unless I could, uh, I used to take motors apart, clean up the, you know, used to, well, of course, these motors don't have replaceable brushes, but some, a lot of motor, old mo mo well, a lot of newer motors have replaceable brushes, but used to, you could take a motor apart, clean it up, maybe put new brushes in it, and go again. But, uh, so I'm going to try and get that apart enough and see if it is possible. Like the one that will try to run, the older one, um, maybe if I cleaned it up, I'm thinking maybe it would run. Well, I'll see if I can get it apart, try again. And uh, 